notes is my go-to app to capture my ideas and thoughts and if you don't capture them instantly when you get them you may lose them sometimes forever that's why i have multiple fast and easy ways to capture my ideas straight to apple notes in this video i'll show you 12 quick and easy and instant ways to capture your ideas to apple notes without interrupting your current workflow i'm sure your productivity will be 10 times higher after watching this video so let's get started before we get to the 12 quick and different ways to capture your notes why 12 isn't one enough can't you just open apple notes and jot them down you see your workflow may be different than mine you may not need 12 but i'm sure you'll find yourself coming back to one or two ways to capture them more often than others and if that enables you to capture more notes than before that is the goal of this video also these ways will work for both iphones and ipads unless specified most people may be familiar with the traditional way of capturing a note in apple notes which is simply to open the notes app tapping on this new note icon at the bottom and capturing the content there but there is a faster way just long press on apple notes icon on home screen and from the list tap on new note this takes you straight to a new note eliminating one step in between this note will be saved under all notes section for you to categorize them later when you long press there is also a quick option to capture a new checklist this will start a new note with a checklist option if you want to create a travel checklist to-do list grocery list etc give it a try Okay, the next three ways I'm going to show you is called the quick note feature named appropriately. I would say the quick note feature is available in multiple places. The first one is in the control center. If you have updated your iPhone to iOS 18, then you can customize your control center to show quick note feature. Go to control center, long press anywhere. Now tap on add a control at the bottom here. Quick note should be available at the top. If not, just search for it in the search bar. Just tap on it and add it to your control center. I would also like to make it a bit bigger by dragging its corners like this. That's it. Now, wherever you are on your iPhone, whatever app you have open or browsing the web, once you get an idea that you want to capture, just open the control center by swiping from top right, tap on quick note, here you can quickly capture anything you want. Did you also notice something? Since I opened it while I was browsing Safari, Apple Notes automatically suggested to add a web link at the top. This is true for other apps as well. For example, I'm currently viewing a calendar invite when I choose to add a quick note. Apple Notes asks if I want to add a link to my calendar event. Once you hit save at the top, the note disappears and you can continue your work as usual without any interruption. This is super handy for me. So while you're working on something, control center quick note is handy. But how about when your phone is locked? Well, Apple has provided an option to add a quick note to your lock screen as well. This requires iOS 18 too. Go to settings, wallpaper, Tap on customize. Here, do you see two default widgets at the bottom? You can remove any of them by tapping on the minus symbol. Since I'm using the iPhone 15 Pro, I have the action button assigned to flash. So I'm going to replace flash with quick note. I then tap on plus and I will choose quick note. Now the lock screen widget is replaced by a quick note. Now, Whenever I want to capture something when the phone is locked, I just long press on the quick note icon on my lock screen. It will open up a floating quick note window where I can capture anything I want. And when I hit save, it just goes away. Just a couple of seconds to capture my thoughts instantly. Okay, the third quick note feature is specifically for iPads because note taking and Apple Pencil on iPad are just made for each other. Let me show you the settings to enable it first. Go to settings. Apps at the bottom, Notes. Here, under the Quick Notes section, select Corner Gestures. I have enabled it and assigned left corner swipe to take screenshots, while the right corner swipe is assigned to Quick Notes. Once I have enabled it, wherever I am on my iPad, I can quickly swipe from bottom right to open up the last Quick Note. I can even tap here to create a new note to quickly capture my thoughts. The good part is, it works without Apple Pencil too. But 
If you have an Apple Pencil, you can take quick note taking to a whole different level. Let me enable it first. While you're in the notes settings, scroll to the bottom. Here in the lock screen and control center section, enable the access notes from lock screen option. Once enabled, to capture a quick note when your iPad is locked, all you need to do is just tap anywhere on the lock screen with your Apple Pencil. That's it. Instantly, you will be able to take quick notes. In fact, I'm here using $15 third-party pencil and it still works fine. It doesn't have to be even the expensive Apple Pencil. If you have an iPad and you are an avid Apple Note user, definitely enable these settings on your iPad. And all these quick notes you captured on iPad and iPhones will be available in a separate quick note section on your Apple Notes app if you don't know where it goes. Okay, now we are back on iPhone now. The next quick way to capture a note is undoubtedly with Siri. Siri is still not the best personal assistant out there, but it's one of the well integrated ones for sure. That means to capture a note, just say, hey Siri, take a note that says Samsung Galaxy event will be happening on the 22nd of January and I may have to switch to the S25 Ultra. That's it. That should be one of the fastest way to capture a note on any platform of any note-taking app. It even works well with ChatGPT in Siri to capture the response directly to a note. I made a whole video on that and I will leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. So these are some of the direct ways to use Apple Notes. Let's talk about other ways to capturing a note into Apple Notes. Some may be very useful depending on your workflow. Say you're researching something on the web on Safari and you want to capture something to notes. Sure, you can use quick notes to capture, but specifically in this case, you can simply tap the share button at the bottom of the page, search for notes and save it as a new note. This way, the page is captured directly to your note. Or if you want to capture only a part of this web page, you can simply select the text and then from the pop-up option, select new quick note. This will not only capture the web page, but it'll also capture the selection and it'll highlight the next time you open it. You know, you can use this share technique in many of the Apple native apps like email, photos, files, etc. Let me show you an example in photos. This is a quick photo I took of a trip schedule. I can easily add it to my notes by tapping on the share button and selecting Apple Notes. The image will be added to a new note or an existing note based on where you want it to be saved. Speaking of sharing, one of my favorite ways to create a note is with voice recordings. Say you're a student or a professional who use voice memos app to capture the audio recording of lecture or a conference, you can quickly share it to your Apple Notes directly. Just tap on the audio recording and tap on share. Here, as usual, select notes. This audio will be either added to your existing note or you can create a new note out of it. The best part is you can view the summary of the recording in notes, get the transcript of the full lecture or audio recording. And my favorite part, if you want to continue the recording, just long press on the recording and tap on add to recording. You can record audio directly on the notes app itself, but that requires opening the app, creating a new note, starting an audio recording by attach and then record option. By this time, you may have missed some notes already. Instead, it's way faster to ask Siri to record a voice memo. Siri will start recording right away and then you can share it to your notes to organize and categorize. Okay, we are closer to the end of our list, but let me show you one of my favorite ways to capture a note. This is a bit slower to set it up, but it's way more customizable. And that is using the super powerful iOS Shortcuts app. Let me know in the comments if you want a full video on the Shortcuts app. It has a learning curve, but I feel Shortcuts is the most powerful iOS app now. I have a habit of daily logging my YouTube editing time in my habit folder for figuring out the best time for me to work. One way is I can create a new note each day with a current time when I start to edit. Instead, what I've done is I've created a shortcut for this. I opened the shortcut app on my iPhone installed by default, tapped on the plus icon at the top right. Here I searched for notes. I see an option to create a note. Tap that. It says there are two customizable fields. One is the content and the other is the folder. 
In the content field, I select current date, which includes time, by the way. And in the folder field, I choose YouTube editing time folder. I give it a name. But also I share this shortcut to my home screen using this add to home screen button. This will add this shortcut to my home screen. Now, what I do is before I start editing, I just tap on this shortcut on my home screen. It will automatically create a new note with the current time in my YouTube folder every time I tap on it. No need to manually enter. This is just an example. You can customize this shortcut however you want to supercharge your notes experience. You can create a note, list a note content in one tap. You can create folders, manage tags and so much more. To show you another amazing feature, I'm going to create a new shortcut where I simply add create new note as an option. I'm going to title this as add a note. When you run this shortcut, it's simply going to create a new note with any content you specify in the text box it shows. This by itself can be really useful if you share it to your home screen and tapping on it to add a quick note. But you can take it a step further. Go to settings, accessibility, touch, scroll to the bottom and select back tap here in triple tap i'm gonna look for and select the add a note shortcut that we just created once we have enabled it i can simply triple tap at the back of my iphone and ios will run this shortcut automatically which will create a new note for me this is very useful if i'm in any other app and i want to capture something really quick i can use the control center but this is even more quicker and non-interruptive. Okay, those were all the different ways you can create a new note super quickly. I'm sure at least a couple of these ways would be helpful to you in expanding your workflow if you use Apple Notes heavily. If it was, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, this is Anjana. Bye-bye.